Hey, Composer Gloves here, and it's another Sound and Synth Basics. Today we're talking about digital audio. This is sort of a tip of the hat digital audio and a reference to my digital audio series, which doesn't exist yet, but it's going to exist after this series. So stay tuned for that. The reason is, is this is definitely part of the basics. Like You need to know what this is. So if you're like me when you started out, you thought microphones were magic. You thought guitars playing into equipment was magic. Like I was like, how? Whoa, whoa. You, plug it, you just plug it in and that's it? Uh, no microphones or anything, and I, I didn't even understand really what a microphone was. I just didn't have a good idea about stuff. But now, I understand that a microphone creates voltage and it reaches what's a digital to audio converter. So, uh, so let's talk about this. So digital audio is exactly what it sounds like. It's digits, digital. So it takes audio, which we talked about last time, and turns it into digits, ones and zeros, binary. Um, and this you have a weird computer that uses some other number-based system. So what is the big deal about this digital audio? audio thing well there, there used to be a lot of debates i'm not going to really talk about any of the debates or what that's all about mostly reference to the other series but essentially what happens is you need to be aware that you need some sort of a converter so we have a usb audio interface i have a focus right 6i6 um, you may look up find one that's right for you uh, the 6i6 is a much cheaper model and what you do is you plug your, your audio into there, so your voltage or your signal, and it will take it and through it will go through a series of resistors determining values for ones and zeros, and it will begin to represent your audio digitally for you. It will convert it for you. The quality of these converters does matter. Bad converters can sound bad. Most people, want, you reach a point though where almost everything uses the same converters because one company like manufactures all these converters, sells them for the same price, and the real um, money comes in when you're getting equipment with specific parts that are have really low tolerances. So if that didn't make sense, you just need to know that digital audio is numbers and you need a way to take signal and convert it into digits so that your computer can have it. If you've ever wondered um, you know, how this works, it has to go through this converter. And vice versa is true. It's got to get unconverted to... So, that's, so the first one is called an analog to digital converter. And it's... Uh, yeah, and the other one is a digital to analog converter. So you have to be able to hear it. So it's got to be transformed back into analog waves so that you can hear it. Uh, so yeah, go look up. And uh, it may be a while, but it'll be up eventually, the my digital audio series. And you'll learn all about that jazz there. It's just something that you need to be aware of that that is a thing when you're messing with your sounds. So Because you're going to have effects like bit crushers that only exist digitally because it's messing with bit depth which is a digital concept i do have some of this already covered in my dsp series which i'm going to eventually um completely redo as well because i ended up turning more into a digital audio series than anything so you can go there if you want to see stuff right now if you have any questions let me know subscribe and have a blessed day <laughs>